ended our closing this week. I'm so, so happy and so thankful, so grateful that that went really well. And it was actually a really fast process to close. I thought it would be way, way longer. So in today's video, I thought I would come to the house and show you guys the house empty, completely empty, and the way it looks right now. It needs a lot of help, so fair warning. It's not gonna be pretty, it's not gonna be glamorous. And if you hear a lot of echoing is because it's completely empty like I said. I'm so excited to show you guys the house and this will be the very first video of my home series. This is an entire series that I'm starting on my channel just dedicated to home, home improvement, home decor, all of that. I know I've done a few home decor videos in the past but this is the real deal. I'm in my own home. I can do whatever I want with it. <laughs> and we're starting off with a very big project, so I thought that would be perfect to include on my channel and have an entire series about that. And I can't wait to show you guys the house. It's very small, but wait till you see the backyard. It'll surprise you. All right, so this is the outside of the house. This is how it looks. It's so cold out here, guys. It's so cold. But it is just a nice one floor house ranch style and has those little shrubs in the front in Chicago it's super cold and snowy so that's why there's so much snow but that's how it looks on the outside so the first thing you see when you walk in is the living room this is how it looks it is connected to the kitchen as you see there and I'll show you guys the kitchen in just a bit and then we have that big wall right there. That's a hallway leading to the bedrooms and bathrooms over there. And right behind the door, we have a closet. And that's access to the crawl space right there because we don't have a basement, but look at how bad <laughs> this closet looks. It needs a lot of our help right here. <laughs> but yeah, these doors are all getting replaced. I don't like the way that they look. The front door doesn't even close. <laughs> um, I think this house was a foreclosed home before, so they might have kicked down the door to get in. But that's the door. The good thing is that the heater's on. It's really warm in here. And since it is one floor, the entire house gets warm very, very fast. So that's such a good thing because in the summer, that means that when I turn on the AC, it's gonna get nice and chilly in here. And I'm personally a big fan of central AC so I'm so happy this house has it. So this entire living room needs tons of help. I love that the living room has these big windows right here because that's just gonna bring in so much light and this house is really small so the more light the better. That wall has to be knocked down and we need to redo it completely because these are plaster walls so we want to put drywall up and yeah, those walls just look really bad. <laughs> I have my tripod here <laughs> because my boyfriend and I just took pictures outside with the house. And on this wall is where our TV is going to go. So we need to make sure we find a TV that will fit that wall. Because Joel really wants a big screen TV, so it's got to fit there. Oh, also these floors are hardwood floors. So we are going to keep them. We're just going to stain them a darker color because I don't like this color. I want it to be really, really dark, almost like a charcoal color. Now moving on to the kitchen, I want to get rid of that island and put a nicer one there. I really don't like the way that one looks, um, it's just not my style and the way that we want to wrap the kitchen cabinets around, it just w wouldn't work with this one. So that's going to get knocked down for sure. Above the island, that's going to get pushed up, so we need to put a support beam up there and maybe I'll put a light fixture or... I don't know, maybe I'll leave the recessed lighting. These floors have to go. They have to go. Over here is where the refrigerator would go. And then it also has a pantry right here, but that's gonna get knocked down. I like the kitchen space. It's very spacious and open. I like that there's nothing right here in the middle because that just gives me so much room to like move around and head over here onto the island and entertain people. So ideally, I would love to wrap the entire, entire, entire kitchen counters all the way up to here. And so that would mean putting cabinets all down there. As you can tell, everything is super outdated. <laughs> That's okay because we are gonna change that. We're gonna fully renovate this house. I know the kitchen's gonna be a big, big, big project, but I know it's gonna turn out really good. I've been looking at Pinterest um, for ideas and inspiration on 
how I want this kitchen to look and I found so many great things on there and so we've already started looking at stuff in Home Depot and Lowe's to try to get for the house and um, you know kitchen appliances are so expensive I've I've known that but I've never had to buy kitchen appliances and neither has my boyfriend and everything just is you know adding up so beware if you're trying to buy a new house the cost will add up very, very quickly. So here's the view of the living room from the kitchen. Okay, and then in the kitchen, we have this doorway that leads to the back door, the laundry room, and a half bathroom. So this little room is gonna be our laundry room. It's pretty ugly right now, but like I said, we'll change it up, make it look better. This is going to be the dog's area. The doggies are coming with me, Sophie Max. And then this back door is going to get changed. And this flooring is going to get changed. Um, this might be one of like the last rooms we worry about because the other rooms are way more important. But this right here is our half bathroom. So when we first came to look at this house, there was a toilet and a sink. We are going to put a new one there. And and that right there will lead you to the little storage area we have upstairs but I haven't been up there very very creepy <laughs> uh, but that'll be kind of like our storage area to keep all the things there and then obviously we have the furnace there the boiler while we're back here I'm gonna show you guys the backyard it is huge back there we have a lot of yard we're sitting on a double lot, so we have tons and tons and tons of space that actually wraps around the house this way. So we have like more space next to the house. And we have all of this yard to entertain people. So excited. I for sure want to throw a lot of parties back here. <laughs> and even if it's just like uh, immediate family gathering together, there's so much space. That garage, you can't tell right now, but the the entire roof needs to be fixed. And obviously that door, it was knocked down, so they put that wood plank there. And in the summer, we have a summer project to cement all that space next to the garage so that we can park some cars there. All right, coming back to the living room, we saw the kitchen, and now we're gonna go down the hallway to see the rooms. Right here we have another closet. Another coat closet. Then we have this bathroom. This is the full bathroom. It's pretty bad, guys. Fair warning. The bathroom is pretty bad. <laughs> this bathroom is gonna be completely gutted out, like completely. The walls are just, they're bad. <laughs> Brown walls. The whole bathroom just needs to be knocked down. It's its not our style. We don't like the colors. We, oh, we're thinking of doing a stand-up shower instead of a tub, so we'll see. Yeah, just the flooring, everything, everything, everything needs to be replaced. So the first room is this one here. This is gonna be the master bedroom. It looks pretty ugly, guys, but bear with us. We're gonna change it completely. <laughs> but I figured maybe we could have like our bed here or our bed over there. I'm not sure yet, Joel thinks we should have it against this wall right by the door, but I think we should have it against that wall, so we'll see. But this room has this closet, yeah. That door, I'm just not liking it. <laughs> oh, look at that, little muscle man. <laughs> that. Part of the wall right there is chipping, but the walls in this entire room are gonna get replaced. Putting drywall up. The doors, like I said, they're all getting replaced. I don't like them. And this blue room is gonna be my beauty room. So we have blue walls right now, guys. Blue walls. <laughs> I'm thinking of doing an accent wall. I'm not sure if I want it to be this big one right here or do it on that one. Have an accent wall with black spots. So that's what I want to have in this room. Just one wall to have those black spots. And I'm not sure which one I want to do it on, but right now we're working with blue paint and superheroes. 
This was for sure a little kid's room. I don't know how he reached up there or she, but um, there's writing on the ceiling. That's getting replaced too. <laughs> all these stickers gotta go. Actually, one big thing, the windows are all getting replaced. So right now, all the windows are just not good anymore. So all the windows in the entire house are gonna get replaced. Um, we just got a quote on how much that's gonna be, labor and supplies cost, so, yep. That's not cheap, guys. It's not cheap. <laughs> and this room also has a closet, so this will be my closet. And the other one will be Joel's closet. He can use that one. I am already searching up ideas on how I want to organize this closet and what type of shelving I want in it. But that's it. When you head out of this room, you're back in that little hallway. And the living room is right there. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the empty house tour. I can't wait to start taking video of all of the renovating that's gonna get done for this house. I myself am gonna put on some gloves, some safety glasses, and also break down some walls. But like you guys saw, it needs a lot of help. A lot of it is gonna get changed, and I can't wait. And the time frame to get everything done, we wanna get it ready before the summer. So we have until the summer to make this house look awesome. We don't want to throw a housewarming party right now because there's nothing in here <laughs> and we want to actually renovate it and we want the weather to be nice too so that everyone can be in the backyard because not a lot of people will fit inside this house. <laughs> it's small. But I'm so, so, so thankful and super excited to be a homeowner now. Uh, Joel and I will have this place looking the way we want it to look and we're gonna be so comfortable here and I can't wait to just live with him already we've been together for so long so this will be a great start to a new chapter in our lives so if you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for the home series and leave any comments down below with suggestions on what you would like to see on this channel so thank you guys so 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 much and I'll see you in the next video Bye.